Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back. I know it's been a while. So today I am here to try out a new product and that is this Invincible setting powder that has an SPF of 45 and it's 100% mineral and sweat resistant. So this is it. This is the powder. I don't know if it's gonna focus. So I got this at Anthropology. It's 100% mineral and sweat resistant. So if this is sweat resistant and if it keeps you like matte all day, like this is amazing because my Laura Mercier doesn't do that. Like it will keep you like matte and all of that like probably for like a couple of hours and then like my face gets really oily like no matter what setting powder I use so I'm really excited to try this out and today I'm gonna do a full look that's gonna have like an updated makeup routine uh, I will actually also be using the Natasha Denona tropical palette which I'm so excited about I've been using this for like the past month and a half and I am obsessed with this palette it's so good so worth the money but it is very expensive I know uh, shout out to my BFF who got it for me so first I'm gonna prime my face with the Marc Jacobs coconut primer it's the invisible undercover this is the coconut infused primer this has been my favorite primer for the past month and a half I love this like you guys don't understand next I'm going to take the Do You Do Drops, and this is again by Marc Jacobs, and it's again in that collection of the coconut infused stuff. I apply this all over my face, and yes, I apply a lot. By the way, these products smell so nice, like it's not, ugh, they're so awesome. They smell like coconut -y, but like also something else that I don't know. Like I cannot put my finger on it. By the way, talking about finger, broke my nail. <laughs> R.I.P. Getting them done tomorrow. <laughs> so um, some people like to put the Dew Drops like on the high points of their face. I just like to put it everywhere just because I love when my skin is super glowy. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Graftobian foundation. This is the Warm Palette. Number one, for the summer, this is my go-to foundation. The main reason why I love this is because in the summer, obviously, we get tan and all your foundations are suddenly not a match, but this, you can mix them and you can have your match all summer. So this is why I love this. So I just take the second and third color, which are... Ingenue and Vixen. Those are the colors I'm using for my face. Next, I'm gonna just blend it out or like really press it in the skin with my damn beauty blender. not see this in stores but it has like a little thing like I don't know if you guys can see it. it's like a little cylinder thing in the middle and so the powder is here so I think when you turn it over the powder is supposed to come out of the cylinder wait let me see if there's anything like I need to remove slide down oh hold up okay this is why it helps guys to read direction it says remove and discard the plastic pin at the center of the brush tilt the tap and brush gently against the wrist until you see the powder starts to flow through the bristles oh you guys this is magnetic this is so cool this is so cool you guys okay so let's see oh I got powder Okay, you know what? First, I'm just gonna apply concealer and then do this. Use this powder and see what it's all about. This feels so different. I don't even know if anything is going on my, on my face. 
So I like to put powder on my chin and then right here where my smile lines are. And then I also put a lot of powder on my forehead because I do raise my brows a lot. Like I'm always like surprised. So <laughs> I tend to get wrinkles here. Like my foundation tends to whatever. So we'll see how this works because I'm going to check back in in a few hours to like let y'all know. But by the way, this costs $30 at Anthropology, so we'll see how it performs. Okay, so next I'm going to contour and I'm using the Smashbox, the Cali Contour. Um, this is actually a new contour palette that I've been using that I really like and I usually use the color... Oh wow, I've been using the blush. You guys, I've been using the blush because I use this color to contour and that's actually supposed to be a blush but I don't care because I love the color and it looks good as a contour so. Next I'm going to use this new bronzer by Becca. It's the Sunset Waves. Or that's, the col that's the color of it, the name of it. And it's this bronzer right here. I've been recently loving this. It is awesome and it's so glowy too. Next, I'm going in with blush and I'm using the Too Faced um, Sweethearts Perfecting Flush Blush and it's in the color Sparkling Bellini. Love this blush. This is like my go-to favorite color blush. Next, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to be using the NARS um, Fort de France. <laughs> Highlighter Because these new highlighters I think that they came out with that are like they're not like sparkly But they're very glowy. So it's like you get that highlight without like Blinding people and causing car crashes. You know what I mean? So next I'm gonna do my brows I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the color chocolate which is actually a little bit darker than my actual brow color. My hair and my like eyebrows are like very ashy. When I do use a color that matches my brows, it's just kind of like my brows look like like ashy and like super like I like them to be darker. Even though this is not exactly my color, it's the color I use. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that real quick and I'll be back. What's next is eyeshadow. And I'll be using my baby, Natasha Denona Tropical Palette. So I love this palette, you guys. I've been using this so much, but I have I have yet to like go into the fun colors. Like I haven't used them yet, and it's just because like I've been living such a normal life lately. Like I like would go to school. I had finals. I had like by the way, I had so much troubles lately. Like I spilled um, coffee on my laptop. So like. That's like one reason why I haven't filmed in forever is because I couldn't even edit my videos had I filmed anything It was just this disaster, but I promise I will like use these colors here on the bottom row in a look coming up soon um, So stay tuned for that first. I'm going to take the color fake tan Next, I'm going to take the color Peach Puff and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my eye. Once I've applied that, all the other colors, I'm going to apply it with my fingers. And thank God I have a broken nail so I can use this one and make my life so much easier. I'm going to go into the color Goosty. Oh shit, I used the wrong finger. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid. I'm going to go in with the color Limoncello or Limoncello, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is, I think, my favorite color out of this palette and it's so beautiful. It's like this beautiful yellow highlight and I'm just going to put that in the middle of like my eyelid, so in the center to like highlight and draw attention. Do you guys notice the difference? Please tell me you do. Next, I'm going to take the color Vintage Taupe and just apply that on my lower lash line. Lastly, I'm going to highlight the inner corner using the color Limoncello again. To highlight underneath my brow, I'm going to be using the same NARS highlighter that I use for my face. Next, I'm going to be applying mascara and I'm using the Pericone um, No Makeup Makeup like Mascara. This mascara is actually really nice and I like to use this on like my more natural days. 
Next, I'm going to be using the KKW highlighting powder or it's the brightening powder. I've been loving this. So I wasn't like too fond of the concealer. I didn't really do a review on it because I had, like all sorts of like life crises happening during that time. Um, but very short concealer. Mm, okay, kind of drying. And um, the setting powder, very like way too bright in my opinion. Because I got the brightest one because I'm very fair in skin tone. And it was like way too bright it was like I mean and that's how she does her makeup so like it makes sense but it just didn't suit me but I love this like this I use every time and I also put a little bit on my chin like right here just to bring it forward for a lip liner I'll be using the buxom hush hush my fave <laughs> and then for full on lipstick I'm using the bomb bag I can't believe I forgot the name. Like, this is literally my go-to, go-to. I love this. I love this so much. Last but not least, to set my face, I'll be using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Spray. It's called Recover. Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. It's amazing. I love this product, by the way, you guys. Like, it's awesome. So, I am done for now. I will check back in with you guys. So, right now, it is... 2.15 and I will wear this for like six hours or so to see how the setting powder stays because the main reason for this video was the setting powder and I want I've been in the search for an amazing setting powder that keeps your face matte but glowy so like I don't want it to be like matte like not glowy I want it to be like matte and glowy anyways so thank y'all well actually no we're not gonna do this because I'm gonna say bye and when I check in so see you guys in like five or six hours by the way this is the look up close and personal it has been Quite a while, I think four hours, because right now it's 5.29, and I believe I stopped filming at 1.29, or 1.20, something like that. So, it's been around four hours, and you guys, this looks awesome. I have not touched it at all, like I have not, like, um, tried to, like, take any of the oil out of my skin, because I usually go with, like, Kleenex and just kind of, like, pat my face to like get rid of any excess oil but like there really isn't that much I mean yeah my skin's a little bit shiny but trust me you guys it's usually a lot worse like a lot worse so this is nothing it is 9 21 at night so it's been seven seven or eight hours I don't know doesn't matter uh, so this like powder held up pretty good I must say my face is a lot more oily now than the last check-in but my nose isn't as oily like I don't know how the camera is perceiving this but usually my nose is like a lot more oily than this also it says that you should reapply this powder like every 40 minutes and I think that has to do with like the SPF thing but I did not reapply it at all so I wonder how it will look if I did reapply it, like whether it's going to get like very cakey or not, or if it's going to keep you matte. And like the thing is, is that this powder is like, it's so tiny and like it's so compact that you can literally like bring it with you like everywhere you can just put it in your bag. So thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was interesting and fun. So before I go, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below press that button right now before you leave this video because guess what I'm having more fun videos coming soon see you next time toodles